Hi guys, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. Um, so what I'm going to do is start with spraying some Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Spray all over the face. This helps reduce the redness um, and then I'm going to go in with the Soleil Tan de Chanel just as a bronzing base just to even out the um, colour um, and help again get rid of some of the redness and just to help the bronze show through once I lay over the foundation. Um, this is a really, really good colour um, for fair skin. I know it does look quite orange, um, but it's great as a bronzing base. It just helps him smooth the complexion um, and it makes blending a lot easier. You can also see Sherlock in the background. He was a bit unhappy <laughs> um, about not getting any attention. Um, he's so cute. Um, and again just kind of blending that all through. I did it in, th in a three shape so I went down the forehead, the temples, along the cheekbones and then under the jawbone um, and then just kind of made sure everything was blended in with a big fluffy brush. Um, I then went in the Stila One Step Correct which is basically a primer um, and it counteracts the redness. I have, as I've mentioned previously, a lot of redness in my skin. And I then went in with one of my favourite really sheer light coverage foundations. So this was the Chanel Vita Lumia Aqua. Um, using a Real Techniques buffing brush just to apply that in an even coat. I then went back in with a second layer just over the places I really felt I needed a little bit more coverage. So mainly the chin um, where I've got like a bit of breakout and redness and the cheeks as well where I've got quite a lot of redness showing through still through the foundation um, and then Sherlock came back just to really see what I was doing he's so nosy but he's so cute um, I then went in through with the under eyes I've got really massive kind of blue bags under there so I just went in with Porcelain Bisque from Bobby Brown this is a step I tend not to miss because um, I just think it, it makes all the difference when it comes to like your under eyes and then applying concealer over the top um, I then went in with Who Love I Benefit this is a really nice um, kind of neutral bronzer it's not too orange um, it's not too um, grey and it, it was kind of the perfect colour just to go over that bronzing base, the Chanel uh, bronzer, which can look quite orange on fair skin, which is why I tend to use it under the foundation. Um, and I then went back in again with a big brush just to kind of blend everything in and make sure it looks really seamless. Um, I then went in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette and again just uh, put a little bit more bronzer on. This has got a slight shimmer through it, so it just kind of makes the skin look really glowing and um, Kind of lit from within. It's got like a kind of ambient lighting powders if you've ever used the powders before. Um, they're really kind of luminous and they're just really nice on the skin. I then went in with a uh, Naked Skin um, Concealer by Urban Decay um, in the lightest shade Fair Neutral in the under eyes, uh, down the bridge of the nose, chin, any blemishes and the forehead and again this was just to bring a bit of lightness to the centre of the face and just to balance out the um, bronzing that we did earlier as well. Um, I then wanted to do a little bit of highlight. I like to use a liquid um, under a kind of powder and this is the NYX Born to Glow Illuminator um, and it's just a really nice um, kind of neutral shade with a bit of a pink undertone. I then went in with my Duras, probably one of my favourite uh, favorite, uh, highlighters. It's a really beautiful kind of champagne gold and it's just got a really beautiful shimmer. Look at that highlight. Damn it. Um, I applied this kind of just to the high points of the face. So I went along the bridge of the nose, um, the bottom lip, the cupid's bow and then um, Kind of cheekbones and the forehead and things as well. Basically just everywhere um, that I could. I then went in with my brows. Um, I just used, for the brows I actually used the Sofa Glory Brow Archie Pencil. Um, it's very 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 similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So if you're looking for something that's a lot less expensive and a lot easier to get a hold of, you can get these in Boots. Um, pretty easily. This, there is only a couple of shades so it's not as great a shade range as Anastasia Beverly Hills but I think it actually works just as well um, 
and the shade suits me either the blonde or the brunette shade uh, brunette shade actually suit me really well um, so I'm pretty happy using this and it's like half the price that the brow is costs um, I think this is only £8 in, in boots from what I can remember so it's, it's pretty good to kind of use that instead um, I then went in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper just to kind of set my brows in place and then went back in with the Ambient Light Palette um, with the lightest shade just to powder my under eye area, uh, forehead, basically all over the areas that were previously um, concealed. I then went on to the eyes and went in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is probably one of my favourite kind of go-to day-to-day eyeshadow palettes. It's got some gorgeous neutrals in it. Um, you've got like a neutral kind of set, you've got a um, cool set and then a warm set and I went in with the cool um, shade tones um, just to kind of create like a nice contoured, very light um, crease look just to show like the natural shadow basically. Um, so I went in with the um, kind of slight mid-tone grey, um, mid-tone, mid to light tone grey just on the eye and all over the lid and then a slightly darker tone grey and just kind of buffed and worked that in um, through the socket and it looks like a lot of work but in actual fact the blending took less than maybe five minutes just to create the look that I wanted. I have sped it up just because it can be quite boring watching 15 minutes of footage of me blending or five minutes of footage of me blending eyeshadow um, but it is really easy and it is just if you know if you're it doesn't kind of look like it's coming together um, just basically keep blending and you'll get the look that you're going for uh, it's just about building up the intensity and the shape that you're after I then went in with um, the Maybelline gel liner this is probably one of the best gel liners I've actually ever come across it doesn't smudge it doesn't move and it's really really easy to work with it's a really nice consistency and it's really really black as well um, you can see I started drawing the line that kind of connects up towards the end of the brow um, and then basically just wing that to the middle of the eye and the key to getting the perfect wing is really just to take your time and do very small strokes and try and get a brush that's as thin as possible. Um, I then went back into that Kat Von D -ish eyeshadow palette and took the black which is probably one of the best darkest blacks that I've ever come across and went over that gel liner. The main reason why I did this um, is because it, it kind of sets it in place, it stops it, it makes it last even longer and kind of sets it um, and keeps it from moving about through the day. Um, I then went in and curled my lashes because they are horrifically straight um, and then went in with Benefits Roller Lash. I do actually quite like this, it's quite good for keeping kind of a curl in the lashes. You have to really work with it and wiggle the brush about um, but I, this is probably one of the better um, mascaras that I've come across for really kind of grabbing onto every lash without me getting mascara all over my eyes. Um, I then went in with this duo blush palette from Sephora and I actually just mixed my brush in both shades um, just for a kind of neutral um, shade uh, to kind of complement the lips. And then went in with one of my favourite bronzers again. Just I felt like it was lacking a little bit of bronze again and I wanted to go in and just add this in and again it looks like I've put quite a lot on but I then went out with my um, big fluffy brush and just blended everything out uh, just to create a kind of really nice seamless look. I then went in with this lip liner by Makeup Geek, uh, no Makeup Academy sorry anyway um, and I think it cost me a pound and actually it's really nice. It is a little bit too pink for the lipstick I put on top but you don't really notice because there is a, a liquid lipstick going on top um, and the liquid lipstick that we placed on top of that was Feel So Grand by MAC. This is a kind of liquid lipstick from their collection, the MAC Retro Liquid Lipsticks and actually they're a really nice formula, a really nice consistency. They're not drying or um, they don't crumble on the lips. Um, and that is basically the finished look. Um, so it's just a really nice kind of bold, dramatic red lip and beautiful um, cat flips. Thank you so much guys for watching and please comment, like and subscribe below.